Okay, now we will show you the mounting and dismounting of the post. On this example, we remove the post to show you how it is attached on the turntable. And after, we will show you the process of reattaching the post and checking the adjustment of post and arms. First of all, look at what is under the post. You have one washer and a special uh, washer on the left, which uh, allows the post to stay in position on the turntable. Be certain when you uh, mount the post that both parts are in place. After the screw, take care that on the screw you have a tooth washer, a special washer. First, put the screw on the post, tighten gently. Not too much because you are in process of adjusting the post. The, the second post is, of course, completely free. Now you require a special adjustment discus. You place it in position in the forearms. And the first check is to find the correct orientation of the billiard. Now we will show you how to adjust the position of the post, the angular position of the post, uh, in regard with the uh, opening in the adjustment discus. First, try to move the arms, like you can see on the picture, and this is to find the position where the billiard goes exactly in center of the hole. The movement of the billiard must be free, completely free. When you have found this position, you can tighten gently the post. The first post, and after the second one. Check again if the movement of the billiard is perfectly free. Now we will tighten with a, a special key, which in fact is a number 10 Allen wrench plus a special tube. And you tighten a first time the screw. The final uh, tightening will be made with a dynamic wrench. Always be sure that the movement of the billiard is completely free. Next point. The next point is to check the contact between the discus and the V. As you can see, you have eight check to do, and if the, you don't have a good contact between the disc and this point, we will show you what to do. Now uh, we will uh, see on this picture that there is a gap between the discus and the arm. And we will correct that. With a hammer. You, uh, you remark that the hammer has a plastic end.
and you check again and now you have a good contact between the disc and the arms. Check again if the other points are okay. And for the time now, this is uh, f this check is finished. Now we will show you how to tighten definitely the post. You require a special dynamometric wrench. And as you can see on the picture made in the factory, we have a, a wood part to avoid the turntable to move. This is uh, our organization, but you can do that with two persons, for instance. One person uh, uh, tightening the turntable, the other one tightening with the Allen wrench. The torque, the required torque, is 65 meter newton, that is 6.5 kilogram meter. Uh, the dynamometric wrench you can find in a specialized shop where you can find tools, uh, these sort of things and so. Remember, 6.5 kilogram meter. As you can hear on the video, when the torque required is reached, you hear a click in the key. This means that the post is correctly attached. You do the same now for the second post. Okay. And, it, and it's finished. The next point we will see now how to check the position of the billiard. Now we check again that the billiards are moving completely free in the middle of the groove. We check that we have a good contact in the eight position, like you have seen. It's a final check. And now, very important, you have to observe the position of the center hole of the billiard. It should be in facing the horizontal trace that you can see on the discus. This is not the case or example. So the correction in this case will be to make the arms go down. Put the disc again in place. Check again. This one is in position. So now you check the other one. This one is not exactly correct. The second hole and of the billiard is uh, in good position. And you look again on the first one, which is OK also. Now the adjustment of the forearms is finished. The final uh, Adjustment, final check. You put the plastic part on the billiard with a clamp also on the clamp holder and with a racket, a bubbler racket of course. You put the racket in place and you will check if all the plastic parts are in position, especially the center in the billiard. 
also check that you have a sufficient gap between the clamp and the strings and that the grip is going well over the traction head. Thank you for your attention. To avoid the cover uh, to move, we uh, use a small quantity of glue on each extremity of the two pin. We place again the cover on its final position and uh, we tighten the screw strongly. That's all. The cover never move again. <laughs>